hello 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 how is everyone how is everyone hope today everyone is doing well Hey, what's up, Chris? How are you? How is your day going? Hey, what's up, Allison? <laughs> yeah, of course. I appreciate you being here. All right. First question I got in my DMs. <clears throat> All right. So the first question I got on my DMs is, I got Mimicry Master, Slim Arch, Giant Tooth. Golden Venom, Bullet, New World General, Shikari Master, Reap Master, Jack Jumper, Rock Bandit, and Guard General. Any good orders from compilation of the four troops? So I think the easiest way to do this to pop open uh sticky notes add a new one grab this and type out the heroes hey what's up srb What's up, God of Hearts? What type of uh what type of main are you? Cause this is all over. You got carriers, shooters, guards. Like, is your strong unit shooters, guards? Like wait where should I focus first? And then what are you hoping for at the end of it? Uh, Chris, your best way to level your special ants while we wait for uh, God of Hearts response is one special ant and then what is it? Uh, the command skill, which is on two uh <clears throat> which is on two different blue ants maxing it out uh so you want to max out this command skill hunter uh on the two special ants so superb spiny and uh black fire and put in one gold ant when you hunt insects uh and it maxes out like that eg i'm happy to do more videos uh but i need inspiration for topics i really struggle for topics and like the videos that people ask for specifically insect talents are so complicated that um i don't know how to cover it right hey what's up viper Right, but uh <clears throat> So I mean you're free to send them in DMs, God. 
but when you look at your evos god of heart which evo are you farthest on are you farthest on shooters carriers guardians which one are you farthest on okay that's fine but after you finish zone development right you're not going to be doing that you're going to focus on one troop type which troop type do you want to focus on you have to pick one you can't level them all up evenly or you're going to fall behind significantly so which troop type are you going to focus on Let's just go with shooters. Let's just go with shooters. Guardians. <clears throat> Guardians are not. Um, they're fine, but it's hard to play them. I can read it here in a sec. Uh, so <laughs> all right, so God, uh, they're both valid this account is shooters right t10 shooters and this account is t10 carriers so i don't have an opinion they're both a bit they're both fine my favorite special ant in the entire game is shikari master in case you can't tell uh i'm very biased uh viper yes it has predator is still not worth it compared to literally anything else not to mention it's very specific lineup so it's really hard to justify predator being anything other than trash because there's just better options to put with them like in general like there's nothing that i would get rid of from the lineup and I'd be like, yes, Predator is better. Predator fits into this. Yeah, so like that's that's the issue viper like you can You can try and say that they're good, but they're awful by themselves and The formations that they may be okay in are just better with other ants Mimicry master is fine in the front row um, It can be in any row M Mimicry master is okay in the front row. All right, so for shooters uh your best bet is going to be something like giant tooth jj rm or giant tooth slim arched rm but reap master requires an awakening before it's like good and really wants five stars so 
it, early on it might be better to use JJ and then once you get the Reap Master to Awakening at, at least level one Awakening uh, a lot of people go to purple Awakening on Reap Master then you can consider doing um, Reap Master and one Awakening is not hard to get Um, there are other ants if you have them that are better in the front row phantom but in general i put mimicry master in the front uh but there are other ants that would be better if i had them but i don't play guard very much yes crimson frigger is insane my Crimson Frigger is five star right now and not even max. Didn't realize that. Do I do it? Do I, do I, do I level it to level 20? On a non-special ante viper <sighs> uh all right so main reason that's wrong with that lineup is that you're playing a guardian then carrier and then something else in in order so uh that part is not good um the second thing, the second issue with that is Bullet Ant has a range of three. Yes, not saying it doesn't, um, but it has the ability to deal damage to two random enemy squads within effective range. So you're losing half the damage of Bullet Ant by putting it in row three. So that's bad. Um, and then if we look at new world general why is that not max i didn't realize new world general wasn't max Woof. all right <laughs> i guess like this is okay but it's not great it's a support troop um and it like requires carriers again not uh not anything else and that like subtracts from what it could be uh if it's like the only thing you have a skill six on i guess but i would not play carriers with shooters uh some people play t8 guardians with t9 shooters but overall you want to focus on one troop type aka shooters and so it's hard to justify playing that and then rock bandit has a lot of issues one sec uh so rock bandit uh does ha allow for guardians to be here um but when the uh skill eight says when there are only guardian ants in the three squads which there are not because new world generals carrier um from the fifth round uh increases combat skill damage to two random enemy squads so you're missing out on like the key skill eight of rock bandit and then i mean like the rock bandit doesn't bring much for damage because guardians don't do a lot of damage so you're playing a special ant that should just be a different one like giant tooth or slim arch this would work with like mimicry master rock bandit giant or guard general as like a team that you have just to have it but it's not an ideal team it'd be like a team four that you could just have so that way you have a team to go gather you really early on in the game which is where you are you only want to focus on one team you want one team that can be your uh like do everything your one pvp groundhog everything else team so 
giant tooth and slim arch doesn't necessarily fit that role but reap master and jack jumper do uh so you could max out reap master jack jumper and if you get like a golden armor bring that up and slim arch or bring up giant tooth and us uh, uh golden armor and that would enable you to be able to uh have both a groundhog team and one pvp team which is all you realistically can have early on in the game i hope that helped gods uh so your first team should be something either giant tooth or slim arched and then rm jack jumper for double dps your second team uh could be the other one of giant two slim arched bullet ant and you don't have an a third good option uh i guess you could play like guard shooter shooter so um i wouldn't do that actually it's hard to have a third team or a second team you just don't have you don't have what i would want yeah stefan but then uh what are you playing for team one right you're playing uh giant tooth reap master and what right none of these other characters are appealing right like i don't like new world general slim art um, uh i don't right because he wants to be shooters so i don't like new world general slim march I don't like rock bandit at all because it requires all guards i don't like gu uh guard general they're just better ants i don't like mimicry master if in an all shooter team i guess you could try and run mimicry master slim arch jack jumper but i don't like that as much as i like having one team and then waiting for another range ant I mean, God, if you're not a carrier ant, your gold venom is, I mean, you would, you would run new world general, new world general, gold venom, uh, shikari master, but there's, it's hard to recommend that if you want to play shooters. Uh, Jay Fisher, that's fine. I don't like golden armor in PVP, but I love it in PVE. uh phantom reap master especially if you can star it up in my personal opinion i would probably go for five star reap master if at all possible if you can't do five star reap master but you can do five star crimson frager uh probably crimson frager i'm a carry main is it best to run three carrier special ants or is it more effective to just use the highest special ants uh chris it is neither um it's best to have team synergy so uh it depends on what special ants you have skill six unlocked and then with the skill six because a special ant isn't real without skill six right if you don't have skill six the special ant isn't real you can't play that special ant it does nothing um so look at your special ants that you have skill six and then from there move on and decide what teams you would like Does JB second skill trigger once per round or once per normal attack? JB. What is? Oh, Jet Black. Jet Black. Second skill trigger once per round or once per normal attack taken. Once per normal attack taken. Once per normal attack taken but it doesn't something about jet black i feel like doesn't work right on that skill because jet black is awful it doesn't do enough dps or anything like that and it's skill five being oh it's skill five being healing is awful 
I just got I showed you guys all my work of stuff. Ignore me. Um all right. I'm queen 24 using GTJ. Okay. Slim March, Slim March bullet ant. Uh we talked about that. What about my gold venom ant? We talked about that. I only have skill six for bullet ant, main carrier, max level him, or save for another, or partly. I would invest into him until you have another special ant, yeah. <laughs> uh bullet ant was good until lost island ants came out now bullet ant isn't necessarily the best uh so i wouldn't go like all ham because you need a lot of gold ants to max max him but you could at least you know skill one skill six and skill uh two three four right but uh if you get another special ant that's decent i would level that up i regret starring up my bullet ant because he's just not as good as other options now. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, Viper. SAGTJJ is like the old classic starting PvP lineup. For carrying it for team one is golden armor, dark giant, shikari master, a good lineup. If it if they're another good carrying, what would you pick? Either free to play or buy. Uh Paul, there's a million good pay to win carrier ants that are better than Dark Giant and Golden Armor. Dark Giant is probably one of the worst carrier ants right now. Uh it just fell off so much. Uh, golden armor is not good for PV uh, P really it, it there's just better things to do like um, the issue with golden armor is it's only DPS and it has to be close because it has an effective range of two so it can't go all the way in the back because of that golden armor isn't nearly as good as something like shikari master where it can sit in the back because all of its ranges are able to support it being in the back and not being in the back and being a dps only ant makes it really hard to justify building God, I'm happy to do that, but I'm going to strongly encourage you to only pick one team or one type of ant because the evolutions take a hundred thousand creature remains to go from T8 to T9 and then two million creature remains to go from T9 to T10. Separating and going to all T9s or whatever is not efficient and will put you behind if you don't just go t10 no matter what you do hey what's up chewy but if you really insist your world general golden venom shikari master would be my uh carrier team uh slim arched jack jumper reap master would be my uh would be my shooter team until you can awaken giant tooth then I would put uh, Giant Tooth JJ Reap Master. And again, Reap Master, Giant Tooth only needs Green Awakening, nothing more. Reap Master needs um, as much Awakening as you can do. The reason I do Slim March first is because Reap Master is inconsistent already until Awakened uh, and more starred. So I only want one inconsistent troop inside of it. However, once you have the awakening on GT again, GT again, only one, uh, then you could put in GT because then you only have one inconsistent and then awaken five star remaster. Good to go. Uh, then you can do rock bandit, rock bandit, slim archer, giant tooth or bullet ant doesn't matter. Uh, and mimic remaster for your team three. Again, I would not encourage this but you have requested it and I am happy to share the knowledge I have. Phantom, I would do Reap Master 10 times out of 10 times and put all my awakening uh, into Reap Master then. 
Uh, uh, SRB, can you ask your question again? One sec. Oh, uh, Meyer, Meyer, one sec. Do you know anyone, uh, do you know anyone, does Meyer carry ant skill five make it all double? Uh, has a 70% chance to deal 185% damage to the enemy's front line and steal 7% of their defense for two rounds. The skill effect would be doubled if its squad is in the front line. Uh, so... Yes. It does mean that it the skill effect would be doubled, so it would deal uh, 460 uh, damage and steal 140% defense. Yes, it does double. That is what it means. Okay, one more question. I have my third copy of Golden Armor and DG. How am I to get the orange shells to upgrade when I get to level 50? It's so hard to get shells. Uh, Chris, I don't mean to be rude. Golden armor is very good in PVE, and I still use it for Pang Leon. Um, let's see. I think my highest damage groundhog might have. Yep, my highest damage groundhog uses it, and I, I mean, I hit groundhog obviously frequently. I'm gonna try golden armor or i'm gonna try crimson frager now that it's five star over golden armor but uh right here i use golden armor to hit with guardians so i'm not trying to say it's bad in pve i'm saying it's bad in pvp uh hey chewy what's up uh, for those that don't know, Chewie's my best friend, love him to pieces, and he thinks White Velvet is the best special ant in the game. You can fight him, he will beat you up. Jay Fisher, I would always bring level or skill 2 to level 20 before I bring skill 1. Some arch is fine. I probably wouldn't star him up until later. Um, I don't encourage, I encourage if you're a spender buying exotic shells uh, whenever possible within your budget, especially the pack shop uh, time limited offer monthly one. Definitely encourage buying that. But I do not encourage starring up special ants until you have nine special ants leveled. Uh, nine special lands for 3v3 duels, nine special lands for, you know, allow you to swap around PvE, PvP, uh, Pangleon, stuff like that. Pangleon, Groundhog, having a decent PvP team, preferably two decent PvP teams, and then consider starring up. Um, also with the Underground Maze, which I covered in my latest video, uh, you really want a wide variety of special ants to go farther. Uh, well, stars do bank them stronger and healthier. More special ants would get you farther soon. When you say leveled up, you mean to 50. Uh, in general, yes. I'm not sure the full context, but in general, yes. When he was asking skill one or skill two to level 20, uh, I mean, once they're starred up, it like 
a lot of people including me won't one star special ant build two star special ant in the same day and you'll raise skill two before you raise skill one of course chris i am so happy you guys are coming with freaking questions my like my discord like i said in my discord post i have no idea what to talk about so questions make this so much better i love teaching i love talking i love everything about this bring all the questions you can you know i tried to give everyone a day in advance to like think of questions write them down whatever so this is awesome i freaking love this Uh, oh, Dusky Lurker. Hey, what's up, uh, Gold Blood Gaming? Dusky Lurker is insane, especially at five star. I love Dusky Lurker. Uh, I don't have it on this account. I have it on my shooter account, and I wish I had it on my carrier account. So God, the best way to invade hills is to never rally and uh, be close to them. You also uh, don't really want to scout, so you're taking a gamble, right? Um, typically, you want to invade hills that have already moved, so you know they're not a garrison trap. Uh, and again, you don't really want to scout because that also notifies them, sends a push notification to their phone, etc., etc. Uh, you just want to hit them and you want to be as close as possible and you want to use speed ups if at all possible uh, within reason and you want to try and do it outside of the mud and the mud uh, for uh, this discussion is here the mud the shadows the whatever you want to call it I call it the mud uh, because it slows you down significantly Dusky Lurker, Shield Warden, Crimson Frigger. Tan. Uh, Dusky Lurker, Shield Warden, Crimson Frigger. I believe, unless Shield Warden requires you to be up front. One sec. Uh, probably shield warden up front actually shield warden shield warden dusky lurker uh crimson frigger i don't like shield warden but i hate jet black so shield warden's better shield warden dusky lurker crimson frigger oh uh then dusky lurker dusky lurker uh crimson frigger leaf devour that's insane. Uh, yeah, they had to put mud. It makes the fights way better uh, for a tree. And that happens, Viper. Uh, what about my bullet ant in the middle of core team? What should I use with him? Uh, it depends on where you want to go. Uh, I don't know which troop type you're talking about. But bullet ants fine with like giant tooth or slim arch so you could like do slim arched uh bullet ant and then a dps that's fine i back in my back in my day, before lost island ants uh i ran giant tooth bullet ant and shikari master pretty frequently 
Uh, it's still kind of early in my server, 904, but you just trashed my ants. Just kidding. <laughs> Chris, a special ant is not real unless you have skill six. So it doesn't, like, I can tell you Jet Black is the worst special ant you've ever seen. Do not invest in him, etc., etc. But if he is the only special ant you have skill six on, guess what you're doing? You're investing in him because a special ant is not real until you have skill six with no skill six special ants are not real how would you make a good farmer count higher level because i can't make a lot uh i think my quality versus quantity does go over that but like your issue with making a higher level farm account is that uh when you make a higher level farm account, you tend to fall in love with it and it turns into an alt, not a farm account. So I don't have the best answer for you. Uh, I played six farms way back when, when I was in server 174 and they turned into alts. I felt obligated to do everything on it, etc., etc. So I don't have the best idea because I'm very emotional. Which is why I come back to stream and why I make videos still because I feel emotionally connected to my community. Uh, I'm a man with emotions. You heard her here first. Uh, so it's hard uh, It's hard for me to give you good advice on what to do uh, with a higher level uh, farm account. Brother, I'm a shooter user. I saw some videos on YouTube. They're saying carrier is best, better than shooter. Is that true? If it is true should i move to carrier uh gold shooter and carrier are both valid there's good reasons to play both especially as a free-to-play player i encourage people to play shooter uh i don't know why someone would say carrier is better or shooter is better uh, it's very hard to argue either way i will say that i do not believe guardian is on the same tier as them and i'm fine going on record for that uh, if you pay to win significantly guardians can do okay but they can do okay versus like free to play shooter or carrier uh, but in the pay to win world uh, like if you're spending buco dollars on both or all three types uh, guardian you know really does get up there but for like a standard typical player guardians not there uh, so if you're on shooter stage shooter uh, okay Slim March is better for PvE. Or sorry, Slim March is better for PvP. Golden Armor is better for PvE. Especially once Golden Armor is two star. It's one of the higher DPS. No, Kuchi. Driver Ant is the worst special ant from the original uh special ant selection. Minus Golden Spiny, of course. So Driver Ant is not worth it uh phantom Go godzilla is insane especially if you have nimble tree ant if you have nimble tree ant gg no re put it inside with gold uh godzilla yeah i'm fine with that so much bullet mimicry that seems fine music or god uh tan yes golden crystal and leaf devour can operate very well without skill six that is a true statement uh gold i would probably run giant tooth golden armor jack jumper because golden armor is only a dps ant so you want to protect its troops because the less ants that it's leading the less damage that it does Uh, neither of the above SRB. Uh, so I would say I know carriers the best. I've been playing them the longest and uh, I am in love with them. Uh, but if I were to choose what to do, it would be. Uh, where is it? This one right here. I would do MR Crimson Pearl Shikari Master.
this magic the gathering card is insane and yes i know it's not a magic the gathering card but this special ant is insane so this is what my second row would be Uh, giant tooth is fine if you awaken him one level so once you get gold or green awaken giant tooth is fine uh i do not have it on this account because i love slim art or shikari master but now that i am purple on shikari master and the next upgrade to promote is three and requires level 30 i will be taking a break from getting this and i will be getting giant tooth the next time that i can only to green only so i can do what i want and then i will be dropping the uh giant tooth and going back to shikari master so no thomas there's one event usually a month sometimes two uh and it's hard to know when they will they're usually like the first weekend or third weekend but no guarantee and you never know what insect or special ants gonna be there there's like a pattern that you can like guess what it's going to be uh chewy if he's hearing this can probably let you know but it's hard to tell exactly viper uh uh inspired plays the way that i'd play a higher level farm is i would go carrier t1 t2s not nothing else i'd probably leave it at like level 20. i would invade dead hills with the level 20 account and then with that with the invaded level 20 account i would invade with my level 25 because you get a reduction in how much you can invade based off of how much higher your anthill is from the other one so i'd invade like level 13s and then uh bring it to my main now that being said i would save 10 stamina and after i'm done i would either gather uh, sand or gather sand or on rare occasion I would gather wet soil uh god the best way to level up special ants what do you mean to get to level 50 or to like the order in order to upgrade uh skills I don't I don't know which one you want uh phantom so nta so godzilla's pew 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 shooters sorry i know that was extra uh, but that's how i think of them uh nta's uh ability causes uh <clears throat> where is it yeah it has a 51 chance to allow our uh our two random squads to normal attack one more time lasting for one round so it can allow people to normal attack more and more and then godzilla um not that one godzilla's uh thing as after each normal attack from all shooter squads the charge of heat ray plus one so that you know you're increasing charge and then after stacking to seven layers backline will deal 250 percent damage to all enemies and the charge will be reset after that so you're increasing the number of normal attacks that you have getting the charge faster and then your backline is your highest dps so obviously good uh nimble treant is fine with zero stars but obviously the more stars you can give them the better uh, but again fine with zero stars 
a lot of people really like him at two. All right, uh, a Viper, but then you have to make a bunch of them, so it's worth it, right? Death inspired. No, Golden Spawn is not worth building it at all. People build it as a joke or like I have Golden Spiny because I have like so many special ants now that are maxed, right? Like uh, I don't have skill six for this one, but like if I just go through, uh, I'm maxing Jet Black right now. I have Shield Warden, Leaf Devourers, two star, even though I'm not a Guardian player. Um, Ruby Slender's max awful special ant. Um, so Mimicry Master's max. I'm not a guardian player, so I'm maxing people for underground maze. Long story short. Uh, I get asked this a lot in my lines. Should I save orange eggs for the next mixed season hatch event? Uh, Viper, I don't know when that's going to be because season two doesn't seem to have an endpoint in sight. So that's really hard for me to encourage because the increased mixed season special ant thing is likely not going to happen until the special ant ends that being said uh valentine's day is around the corner so i feel like they're going to do a nine orange ant or nine orange eggs for 10 or something like that uh, because it's a holiday that they can milk uh so if i have 135 gold ants or gold eggs so like and see where I'm at. Uh, Viper's right. Uh, God, the best way to do it is to use uh one the gold ant you want to work on for special ant day, and then uh superb spiny and black spire with skill three on superb spiny unlocked and skill two on black fire unlocked so you have those two and then you have the orange ant that you want to level up to level 50 and you uh gain a bunch of experience that way the order for skills on which one you want to uh unlock is inside of my useful uh data sheet collection uh in my discord it's like at the top near the top it is super far up there because it's one of like the og posts uh and it looks like this let me see Why is I There you go. Oh, it doesn't capture that properly. All right. Uh, it looks like this. I can't share it on my screen because I don't have a setup like that anymore. Uh, so I apologize, but it looks like this and it walks through, um, you know, skill order development. You're going to max skill one, unlock skill, um, unlock skill two only just so you have a little bit of dps and then just like this note says like i've been preaching don't go farther at this stage if you don't own a shell to unlock skill six and then you move on to this stage and again that's all inside of my discord it's like one of my top posts so it also explains the ranges a little bit etc uh, etc et which will probably help you understand uh the formations better Chris, it happens. Uh, Pete, it's uh, it's two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars if it's the only thing you buy from the event. Every other item can is like the second item is usually three to four hundred dollars, and every other item after that is five hundred dollars. Uh, Godzilla leading NTA to playing Quasberger zero. 
what is your most profitable contender for blink i have awakened rm dusky lurker awakened uh brown rogue and most free to play ants not a fan of rm wild rng but it's what uh dc goes for so reap master at five star awakened isn't nearly as high of rng and typically when you're using godzilla in this lineup it's not a pvp lineup so you're just looking for that rng shot to get high in uh groundhog or pangleon if you're trying to do this for pvp then you're probably wanting to run like giant tooth or m uh or crimson right crimson pearl um or you want to run brown rogue in that blank slot uh brown rogue awaken and five star either or or both uh, but brown rogue awaken has definitely put him back on the table uh one of my members black hawk has been sending me battle reports and awaken brown rogues doing really really well at top tiers yes god with those skills unlocked thoughts on blood giant i haven't been able to play him uh myself because i just got him like uh i just got blood giant uh on the 20th so yesterday so uh i haven't fully played him myself uh but he has this uh heal ability which makes him unattractive um he's like yeah there's a guaranteed hit here so that's cool i guess um this is okay i guess but i'm not attracted to blood giant at all all right coochie uh your issue is that you're thinking about leveling up your depots uh there's a thing called diamond building which i can't do on this account because i don't have diamonds or i don't have uh anything to level up really what is it oh maybe i do 17 million leaves i don't think oh okay so uh right i have 20 million for you know whatever uh leaves if i didn't have the storage room for them i can use diamonds to build this over anyways and that would allow me to go over my depot cap because my depot cap's not high enough. So it's called diamond building. And that's what I did queen 23, 24 and 25. I did a couple of depots, but like the sand depot gets ridiculous. The wet soil depot gets ridiculous in the end. Uh, so I didn't really upgrade those ones. Um, and that's how I did it. So save diamonds for that. I would run both Chris just run both like most people that aren't like heavy pay to win are only gonna work on one special ant a week that like needs to be high level like level 50 right so there's not a reason to really worry about it and even if you are worried about it you can always level it up on special ant day or once it gets to whatever level you want to work on etc etc uh, but I would just work on one special ant really like hey I really want to get uh, I don't know shikari master to level 50 so I can unlock his skill 8 um, or you know in order for me to you know once I get a second shell of shikari master uh, in order for me to get there I need 325 million experience so you know maybe i want to hunt that with uh blue special ants in order to get that level of experience a lot faster because that's a lot right um so it works even for those that have to star up
Coachy, I hear you. Um, and I'm not telling you how to play your game and I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, but I will say that, um, you know, there's a difference in opinion and play style. Uh, I didn't really do the VIP store. I didn't level up my VIP at all uh, because those things didn't exist when I leveled up my queen. So I didn't have as many uh, distractions. That's the best word. Just want to say thank you for all your content. Start playing in August and watching your videos and being on your Discord has helped me help my alliance and learn the game. I love teaching too. Thanks. Thank you, Sky. Uh, I'm glad that you found our community and are able to learn. I love it too. All right, so Phantom, if you would have asked me this two weeks ago, uh, I would have like hands down been like, you know, defense is trash, uh, you know, only work on <laughs> health and attack. And then if you want to do PVE, you do uh, attack. And if you want to do PVP, you do health. Uh, but then this came out. Uh, which is from uh, from the fairies and it says the soldiers attack is the base number of damage you can do the higher the enemy's defense the less damage you can do health is the foundation of the soldier's survival some skill damage or effects of special ants may sometimes change according to their attack and defense that being said um we finally know what defense actually does uh, from this message and the higher the enemy's defense the less damage you can do is huge uh, so it's really hard not to encourage leveling up defense and minimizing attack if you care about pvp uh, or defense and attack but defense and health are now like same level if not um defense a little bit higher and then um you know attack after that so this message changed it all and this is in my discord i agree viper uh but you know if they have different priorities they want to be able to buy from the vip store etc etc uh I don't necessarily agree with their priorities, but everyone's allowed to play the game however they want. And at the end of the day, it is a game, right? Like we're all just playing ants. So it's better to encourage people to have fun than make it feel like a job or like they can't have their own way. I don't want people to not like the game. That's the exact opposite of what I want. So. Yeah, Viper. That's what I said. <laughs> that is what I said, Viper. I was like, what? Why is this how it works? Why didn't people tell me that? You know what I mean? Like, it, it took a year and a half, two years for them to finally admit what defense did. Why couldn't they have just told us that in the beginning? Again, Coochie, the most important thing to remember is that this is a game. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. I'm never going to be mad at you if you want to play it differently. You have a different opinion. You know, you can talk about it in my Discord. No one's going to shut you down. Uh, you know, my, the point of my Discord, the point of my channel is to min max. So people may not agree with your play style. But it is a game and it should be relaxing. I 
If anyone is interested in uh, server 260, we're lean mean fighting machine right now and we're trying to go to LI with minimal players to see what happens. So. If you're down for that type of thing. We're going to go to LI, minimal number of players, see if that affects matchmaking and try and, you know, do some interesting stuff. I'm glad you enjoy the game, Chris. There was a while that I didn't enjoy the game and I only made content and played the game because of the community, but I'm back on that grind. I really like this game. And you can see that from like my spending habits, you know, I bought a whip scorpion and stuff like that. So. Coochie, there are like three basic servers. Uh, there's war servers, there's nap servers, and there's hybrid servers. Uh, with LI, with Lost Island, I prefer full nap servers uh, because, because um, you're going to be fighting all Lost Island. You don't want to come home and have to heal waste more speed ups and stuff i want to keep all my resources for lost island that being said i think that a hybrid server would increase your potential for having a good svs because a good svs or because a hybrid server is going to keep all the alliances engaged you know people are still going to play their alts to be able to bubble them etc etc uh, and then a full war, war server, I would always discourage. I don't think it benefits anyone. It wastes a lot of resources. People quit. There's no enjoyment. You know, you get one aggro alliance in the end. Everyone else is dead. And when they try to migrate, other players have talked about them on the official Discord or my Discord. And they um, don't have a chance of migrating because of that. So I really don't encourage full war servers. <laughs> yes, Tan, there's also dead servers. That is fair. No, Coochie. Yep. Um, if you go into... That's my computer performance. If you go into my Discord, I really need to set up a different window capture for this. Uh, this is really bad and poor, uh, whatever. But if you go into my Discord under Migration Nation, you can see Convocation Groups. You can see Migration Groups. Um and i mean you can't see the migration groups because they're not uh they're not open right now and i only have migration groups when they're open but i keep the convocation groups open uh because those are always there and you can uh you know convocation to a different server to get rid of the nap server and they kind of tell you uh they kind of tell you like what their server is like there's uh you know it's usually more about the lost island it uh the lost island but like there's server recruiting and everything else <laughs> uh not really chris uh if you're free to play it's really hard to get caught up if you're missing the 
and hatching and if you're pay to win you want to at least be buying this insect growth plan so that way uh you can get the two level five uh the two level five packs that are in here so that way every month you're getting a six star right uh closer to a seven star after you add in all the other orange insects so not really oh and you get the fodder which is insane yeah it's expensive chris uh for like hatching and stuff it is uh you know if it distracts you from getting queen 25 not necessarily worth it but if it doesn't distract you from getting queen 25 then uh definitely worth it to work on them uh no viper it is not because i'm like a year and a half in and i have bought i have bought two shikari master shells bought paid for them with money and i'm still 102 on skill eight hey what's up rn rnz And that's fine chris then i would uh i mean hatching is important but maybe you want to focus on fodder only uh but honeydew can be tight so don't allow anything to get in the way of queen 25. thanks rnc glad you like my videos Of course, Gucci. There is the official Discord migration too. I just um not a big fan of the official Discord. Feel like it's really toxic, so I don't have any control over it. So not a uh, not something I can encourage one way or another. I want these orange skins so bad, but there's no way I can justify spending $500 on an orange skin. Phantom, I do. I do, Phantom. Don't you worry. I do. Power means nothing, RNC. Power is a fake number. 110 mil. 80 mil. I love my wife, love my wife's account, but her account is not as strong as my 80 mil power account. Thanks, Chris. All up to them. RNC. Ain't no stress. Ain't no thing. Ain't no chicken wing. Uh, my favorite skin is this one right here, and I will wear it forever. White velvet. You should use white velvet for your French front line over dark giant. 10 out of 10 times, put it on record. Oh, and I love this skin. This skin is sick. I'm actually going to attach it to my March Unit 4. Yeah, 
I like this skin too. And then I have the carrot skin, of course, because we worship the carrot skin here. Drew, it depends on your open special ants, right? Like Dusky Lurker, solid. Uh, Grave Digger's okay, especially if you have a golden crystal available. Uh, you know, Slim Arch, Giant Tooth, of course. Uh, I would say Crimson Pearl, but you said that ant was stupid and awful, so you didn't buy it, even though you bought your MR. Uh, MR is, or MF is obviously uh, insane, so MF. Uh, MR is okay for it, but I prefer it in the second row, things like that. It's cool, RNC. I'm from America. I think I did this. Did I not do this? I guess I didn't do this. Interesting. I thought I did it. I thought I done did it. That's why I was uh, back from gather. Or my gathers was is so far out. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, RNC. I mean, it's the same game, just a little bit slower. Ain't no big deal. Um, I. You know, it's a mobile game that you're paying for digital pixels. It's not necessarily the thing I would recommend spending on anyways. You should only be spending on this game after you've done absolutely everything else. You know, your bills are paid. Your bills are paid. Your um, life is good. All that other stuff. Um, after that, you can uh, consider it. I hate these red dots. Like, I've been here so many times. Why are we here again? SRB, they're never going to stop. It's just that the rotation will get wider and wider uh, as they add more special ants that are pay to win. I'm really surprised they did for a little while do like a fantasy egg where you could choose like one of three special ants that were pay to win. I'm really surprised that they haven't been bringing that back. Like super surprised because like they would get so much more money per event if, you know, carriers could get mf and shooters could get uh ls and you know guardians could get uh parada and like people could also choose cp like there's so many better ways to do that i appreciate it rnc R but i'm not the best i just like to talk a lot and teach and i'm not the best teacher and i'm not the smartest teacher i just do my best to learn and share the knowledge and have conversations with people nice phantom i am at four right now so i'm a bit away uh i uh didn't do them i didn't th i like i initially didn't think that they were like i thought they'd do like two or three and then you had to buy the rest of them and i was like i don't want to do this but they're so consistent with it that i've been doing it now so i i'm excited eventually in six months to be able to get another orange skin not but i'd don't think it'll do anything for me i don't see myself ever getting out of uh eight star uh because th this is so far away like that's unrealistic for me so i i just don't see me ever getting to eight star or nine star that's okay 
I ain't stressing. I ain't tweaking. Uh, Chris, even if you only get into the two hour war zone construction, it's better than nothing. Viper, that would be beautiful, and I would buy it no matter what type of insect it was. So that way I could say that I own Chewy. <laughs> I think I would say it every single day. I'd be like, oh man, I gotta go use Chewy to like hunt these insects. Oh man, Chewy needs to go do this. Chewy needs to go th do this. <laughs> RNC, it, I, I mean, my best recommendation is to YouTube it. Discord can be a little bit much for people that have never used it before. I don't disagree. Giant to Slimarch Chicory Master. Giant Tooth, Slim Arch, Golden Crystal, Giant Tooth, Golden Crystal, Shikari Master. Some lineup like those four. That's why I'd run completely free to play. That's what I would re recommend RNC. Completely free to play. This is what I would do for every gold branch because every gold branch is basic. Thanks, RNC. Hey, what's up, Jerome? So if I know a lot of people ask me like what I would do for my talents, this is how I would have every basic done. No more, no less. Every basic done. <clears throat> if I were doing carrier, right? So this is the carrier branch right here. Right here uh which i you know is on emperor scorpion because emperor scorpion is a carrier uh and i believe yeah is on uh here and then the skill is different right the blue skill is different uh for carrier branch this is a, the exact path that i would do now you can forego some like if you're a carrier main specifically you can forego some of the orange tree in order to get uh where is it now 
never mind so that that's what i would do for carrier and then the skills right the blue skills are different per special and it's really really hard um to you know say exactly what i would do for special ants but a generic way out right of the skills this is what i would do right now again skills are different for everyone but like whipped scorpion has the right skills for this overlay to match obviously what order you're gonna upgrade them in what priority you have is going to change based off of what you want to do <clears throat> because things are different uh and getting to 150 talent points is you know significantly expensive but uh that's what i would do now you also have to so the way that i prioritize is i focus on the next thing that will boost attack right so this boosts attack so i did this one which you know defense is cool but i wanted the attack because i prioritize pve and that's why i do it the way that i do it srb the exact uh exact tree branch that i showed you <clears throat> the tree branches that i showed you are for carrier ants um the red tree for shooter and the red tree for universal and guardian is different which does impact the blue trees and the blue trees are different for uh some of them right um right this one's defense and versatile and then uh this is this one's like super different right this one's got shooter and then it's got monster which is like its own beast every basic's gonna be the exact same i haven't done enough research into shooter and monster to come up with like the exact way that i would do it uh but likely my shooter universal and everything would be the exact same and the only tree branch that I would ever change is the blue tree. Uh, so I'm working on doing more research into it because I know a lot of people have asked, uh, but I wanted to release at least the carrier trees because that's the guideline that I personally follow. The same way I just showed you. Same way I showed you. Not my tree branches will not change. They're going to be the exact same. I don't have any hidden secrets. I don't hide anything from my viewers. Everything is the exact same way, no matter what. That happens, RNC. As a free-to-play player, the only insect you should be investing into is Grapevine Beetle. I'm building Grapevine Beetle in order to be a support insect for my Atlas Beetle, to be honest. Uh, so that way I have one Atlas Beetle. Uh, so once I get it to 7 star... Oh, sorry. Once I get it to 8 star, higher than 7 star. Once I get it to 8 star, I will put it into support for this one Atlas Beetle. Um, and then I will probably leave it and once i get um you know another scorpion to nine star or whatever i will uh get um i'll combine this one and grapevine together because my only thing i'm working on with the free-to-play orange insects is nine star scorpion so that way this nine star scorpion and this nine star scorpion can combine and make this an 11 star whip his whip is uh, priority to me over Emperor because of PvE. But uh, I would only, as a free to play player, I'd only focus on Grapevine Beetle. RNC, I already answered that. Giant 2, Slim March, Golden Crystals, Trickery Master, some order of those cards. Some order of that.
Agreed, Viper. What else you guys got? I am happy to answer questions. Let me know whatever questions you guys got and I will uh, continue to answer. It's not there yet, Jerome. I've been trying to figure out the rest of the branches before I release Carrier. Because I don't want people to feel left out or upset or get a million DMs about them. Uh, I just felt like, uh, you know, you guys have been here for an hour and a half. And if people are watching this video for that long, they deserve to see something special. Like, it's been so long, you guys deserve it. Uh, I appreciate the support and sticking around so yeah <clears throat> struggle that's really hard uh they go hand in hand uh i would probably prioritize zone development because it'll make reaching queen 25 easier Have a great day, Viper. Any tips for duels? Do them daily, even if you're, you know, uh, super low level, doesn't matter. Do them every day. Uh, you know, put your strongest stance in a good PVP formation here. Uh, I run Ghost up front because I don't have very many pay to win ants and there's nothing else I really want to run up there. And since I run Whip Scorpion and not Emperor, it works well. And then I run a couple of DPS, same with like my regular pro. Uh, same with Duel of the Glory and then Duel of the Special Ants. Uh, honestly, uh, you know, you gotta remember, what is this? Uh, I did not build that team. Um, <laughs> You know, you got to remember with, um, are these carrier ants? You got to remember with duels that it doesn't take any evos or mutations or anything into effect. So if you've leveled up things like leaf devour mimicry master for you know underground maze and stuff uh feel free to use those if that makes sense like you don't want to uh 
you you don't want to feel stuck or whatever word you want to put there uh to not be able to use uh what you have so uh it does still take into effect helpers and insect levels but it's only insects and special ants nothing else so Uh, R and C you should have like six special ants before you consider starring up. I prefer nine, but they're just false labels, Phantom. It, like the difference between the two is minimal at best, and lately the crossover has made it slow. Way there's no there's no real difference. You know, they're trying to help based off of like, uh, I think like based off of, uh, even that, like, well, this is marked range. So like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the label is. Uh, MDS, I believe I did a video on it and it was level 13. Uh... Uh, SRB, that's kind of like a personal opinion. Excellent enhance is very good now that we know what defense does. But it's very expensive i will not be doing uh my third t10 i will be doing a uh, second t10 and then i will be working on getting this through all of the attack and then i'll go back and do my third t10 and get it through health um the way that i would do it is i would do you know if you're a shooter for t10 uh obviously you're using shooters for guardian day so I would Mac, I would do a T10 carrier, uh, because shooters obviously at T10 are better than T9 guardians. Um, and then, you know, if my guardians or if I'm a carrier main, I would T10 guardians and leave my shooters. And once my guardians are T10, go back and do excellent enhance. So that's how I would balance it. Uh, Alan, so you can buy Shikari Mat. Well, it's been a long time, but uh, the events used to have them. The pay to win events used to have Shikari Master fragments in there. And so you would just have to purchase all those Shikari Master fragments, which ended up being like $200. So you're paying $200 for a free to play ant, but I was impatient and I wanted Shikari Master and I wasn't getting any copies. Uh, so I bought two copies of Shikari Master to have the original and the skill six. And over the course of, you know, over a year now, I have gotten only three copies in total. So, because mine is a uh, seven star with one additional copy. So, uh, I don't regret buying Shikari Master at all. Uh, but I haven't seen them in events in a long time. Uh, which answer should I take? I already answered that. When you use Golden Crystal with Whip Squirp, Golden Crystal is an awesome carrier special amp, but I don't see him use it much for as good as he is. Um, I was using Golden Crystal, uh, but mine doesn't have any stars, uh, so my Crimson Frigger has been performing better. I do think Golden Crystal or Grave, not Grave Digger. Yeah. Is it Grave Digger? Ooh, Tripwire. Uh, yeah, Grave Digger. I think that Golden Crystal and or Grave Digger um, would be really cool with uh, especially Grave Digger because Whip Scorpion has a chance to poison, right? And then uh, here it has, it will be additionally science and I'm able to release combat skills for one round. So Nerve Poison here might even make it better than uh, Golden Crystal uh, just because of that or like you could run Grave Digger, Golden Crystal, Shikari Master with Whip Scorpion, but I don't have a skill six to be able to test that. That's probably what I would do. <clears throat> uh, 
MW2. Atlas Beetle would be my recommendation uh, over Jumping Spider, not because it is necessarily better. It's not technically based off of raw stats, right? Uh, if you look here, 60, 60, 60, uh, 30, uh, 30, 40, 60, 40. Uh, this is all 50s, and then this is 45s, right? Uh, but it would enable you to do Pangleon with all three troops or two troops with a minimal investment. And if you're talking Jumping Spider, I assume you're like a low spender or a free-to-play player. So I would go down the Atlas route. Uh, RNC with those ants, I would do Giant Tooth. Giant Tooth, Slim, Arched, Golden Sugar. I don't know, Zambo. Uh, Philistine Wall. Lathy Sniffer is better than Season Ants minus Wise Berserker. Like, Lathy Sniffer and Wise Berserker are probably the same strength, but people struggle to get Wise Berserker. And then, uh... Crimson Pearl is better than any Season Special Ant. Uh, so Crimson Pearl is universal. Definitely we get Crimson Pearl. And then, uh... MR is... I, I would probably say MR is worth it. I have like a feeling this will happen at some point. What's your opinion? I have an SM 8 star and three more copies of them too. Like they can make a new big gold star for which you will need five copies of general. SRB, uh, I would love to say that you're crazy and that would never happen because I would like to believe that this game cares about you. Uh, but if you don't know, Cells uh, got like another star up thing. So uh, uh, is there a way? There's not a way. Uh, so after this, it got like another thing to level it up and make it some sort of special thing or whatever. Um, so it's hard to like believe that they're not going to do that again. Hard to believe they're not going to do that again. Yeah, Chewy, I just thought that I would be able to see it. Uh, I just thought I would be able to see it in here. Because not everyone knows it, right? Because you can't see it in here. So if I can't show it, um, in my mind, if you can't show proof, it's not real. Uh, I want to be able to prove to someone that I'm not just, you know, farting through my butt and, you know, making up whatever I want to say just to talk smack. You know? But I can't prove it. I can just say that they did this thing. Yeah, of course, MW. If you don't mind sending me a picture, if you have that ability, Chewie, I would appreciate it. It's the same thing with the new Evo. When I first talked about it, a bunch of people without T10s were like, there's no new Evo. And I started taking pictures and they were like, oh. Crimson Pearl and M... Crimson Pearl, a million percent. Uh, MR, 95% and LS, yeah. No, I understand, uh, Phyllis Nonwall. Crimson Pearl, 100%. It, Crimson Pearl it breaks the game. I I got... Uh, 
I got the skin here uh, over Crimson Pearl and the Whip Scorpion and I probably like done did myself wrong because it, it's just better. Crimson Pearl's ins insane, but I don't regret it because I play to make myself happy. I don't play to necessarily be uh, do the right thing at all times, so. Crimson Pearl's insane. And then LS is good, not starred, but definitely wants to be starred. Uh, LS and Wise Berserker are probably the same all the way up for starring, not starred, etc. And MR, uh, I don't have 100% experience with, but everyone that I've uh, heard of um, or heard from or whatever word you want to say there uh, would say that MR uh, is better than the Lost Island Ants. Yeah, no fine, no problem, Philistine. Uh, for those that want to see it, thank you, Chewy, for uh, showing me. Or thank you for the screenshots. Um, so you have you have like your regular cells, right? Uh, they're two star. They don't all have to be two star, right? There's a one star right there. Uh, you unlock something that says evolve instead of upgrade, right? So if we look at a normal cell uh, here, it says uh, star, star up. It says on or evolve. And then from the evolve, it looks like this. Um, big nuclei, honeydew, and minor. And it... Uh, increases overall attribute troop uh, boost which <clears throat> I assume is everything inside of that cell goes up by 0.5 percent but I have zero experience with this because I don't have any two stars uh david if you go into my discord you look at general chat one of the first oh that's not uh general chat one of the very first pin messages that i have here um is from a very good friend that left the game uh but it says if the goal is to disable uh, pan back then panda was a huge problem but if the goal is to disable the front then giant tooth slim arched is better if the goal is to disable the mid then slim arched giant tooth is better if the goal is to disable the back line then giant tooth in front is better so hopefully that answers your question on how you want to do it Why can't you run both SRB? <laughs> I don't understand why Golden Crystal, like if I had Pearl, Golden Crystal and Shikari Master, I'd be running that. I, I, I don't understand why that's a, a versus. Why, can, why can't you run both? So it looks like every evolution brings it uh, up by 0.5%. So thank you, Chewy, again for uh, sharing that. Crimson Frigger is not better than Golden Crystal or, or Pearl. I, I I would run Pearl, Golden Crystal, Shigari Master. I like there's Crimson Frigger is irrelevant at the point of Pearl, Golden, uh, Golden Crystal, and Pango. 
uh, Philistine. Uh, so I can do my best to help you. Uh, if you want to send me a budget, I don't know if this is something you want to do on stream. Uh, I will do my best to get to you and help you with a budget and build you like a weekly. This is what I would get to get stronger. Uh, and this is how I would spend money in an event. If you have like event money set aside. Um, but like you want to be well-rounded, right? So <laughs> with where you're at, uh, you want to consider buying these because you want to get additional special ants in order to go underground maze farther so you can get awakening faster uh in the time limited offer depending on your budget i don't know it again uh depending on your budget you either want to aim for 50 uh points which is 150 dollars every two weeks uh or you want to aim for 80 which is more i don't remember uh and then you know you want to buy like the dollar mutation packs uh every day um and then in here you want to be buying you know the dollar warzone exclusive special ant plan and the insect growth plan and then you want to be buying the subscription uh and you want to have all eight uh all eight builders for exploration uh because you don't want to fall behind on that and you want the ability <sighs> and then in the vip store depending on your budget um you want to be buying you know like play and um fragments to be able to level it up so i i again it, it depends on your budget i don't know what it is but um there's like a sprinkling of everything that you want to buy How do I get egg shells for free? Queen 25, make sure you get third chest every day. Um, a winning server helps. Uh, a winning server helps. Make sure when the events come up, right? So colony leader is a bad example, but there's events to hatch. There's events to gather, right? So every day you should be checking what the event is. Um, and like a lot of people miss the gathering one. A lot of people only hatch 6,000 special or er, regular ants because they do 2,000 of each. So like you have to look at those things and make sure you're hatching the additional 2,000, etc., etc. And that gives you, you know, an orange egg for three days uh, or two days, however long these last. Um, yeah, two days, right? The 20th, 21st, um, maybe the 22nd, so maybe three days. I don't remember. But, um, you know, that gives you three orange eggs for three days. So like, you have to be doing small things like that, uh, every single time. Uh, please opinion about subscription. I'm using it to think about 10% attack is good SRB as I already said subscriptions insane um, The hunting ground bonuses, so I don't care about the 10% gathering or attack that isn't This is not in, uh, attractive to me the 10% attack is a joke uh, If you're buying other things returning speed is literally a joke gathering speed is like okay um <clears throat> the batch operation functions is way more convenient but like you don't get all of them and it don't really matter right uh the thing that the subscription is good for is it increases the hunting ground output by 20 percent after four times which obviously you can see i've done that uh it so the hunting ground output is what is insane and the reason you should be buying the subscription um like a lot that's this is the reason you buy the subscription is this
Oh, eggshells, Chris. I am so sorry. You're talking about fragments, eggshells. Uh, I, Chris. Oh, I am so sorry. I am dumb. That is my fault. I thought you were talking about golden eggs. Uh, eggshells are in the CA third chest right here. You don't want to do one that's 15 million. You want to do the CAs that are 5 million. Uh, 15 million is way too expensive. This is at Queen 25. Uh, you want to do like the 5 million ones. And it's the first three CAs of the day. So you want to do at least three CAs on the days you're doing CAs. So evolution, build, special ant, whatever. Uh, you want to do three CAs up to the third chest and you get eggshells. I am so sorry, Chris. My brain did just disconnected, I guess. I did not mean to, I did not mean to be dumb. I apologize, Chris. Hey, what's up, champ? Chris, I am so sorry. I, I thought orange eggs, I, my brain, my brain farted. I'm so sorry, Chris. So that's a correction to my statement. Again, I'm really sorry. Uh, hopefully that helps a lot more than the incorrect answer I gave you. <clears throat> uh, three CAs to third chest, not 15 million points. The ones that are 5 million. Uh, sorry again. Uh, and then you should obviously be doing force of life, especially as a free to play player. Uh, those give eggshells, right? 50 here, 20 here. So you should be maxing out force to life as a free to play player every single week. I'm so sorry again, Chris. I hate giving wrong answers. I am so sorry. Uh, so you should be maxing out force of life every week. Uh, you should be trying to get to the ornaments. You want to get the purple skins, obviously. And then after you get all your purple skins, you can get groundhog fragments with it. So like no reason not to get to level 20 every week. Um, and it's easy to do if you know what you're doing. So <clears throat> even without having Alliance helps, it's easy to do. All right, uh, Philistine wall. So your issue with spending the money that you're spending is this time limited offer. You have to spend the money inside of the time limited offer. And then when you look at it, you'll see points plus one points plus one points plus one. That's what these points are. So for me and my budget, I try to get to 15 points a day or 15 points a week. That means if as a free to play player, I or as a low spender every day, I click this free one that gives me plus one point. And then I spend a, a dollar or whatever on one point in the monthly. In my case, I buy one ex set of exotic shells plus one point. Uh, the break points, as you can see, uh, $15 and below is plus one point. $20 is plus two points. $30 is plus three points. $50 is plus four. And $100 is plus six. So... You have to budget out and determine which ones you want to get to the level 80. The reason that you want to do the level 80 is you can get 15 orange eggs or an orange shell. Obviously, you're going to get the orange shell, assuming that you're spending money on tertiary eggs. Anyways, the orange shell is significantly better. Uh, and then you get the grand mutation star ups, which is obviously great for genetics. If, you know, you said you're spending $7,000 in three months, so uh, your budget should definitely afford it. But if you're only going for 50 points, you still get selective enhancement, uh, level two chest, grand selective mutations times 100. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, and again, if you message me, I can try and help you pick out what you want for level 50, level 80, whatever. Um, I, I get a lot of DMs a day, so I will do my best to respond to you as soon as possible. Uh, not saying you have to be a Patreon, but if you are a Patreon, you do get prioritizing questions. But I, I will answer 
your answer without being a Patreon. It just may take me time. So uh, I can do my best to set up a better budget and how to get the best bang for buck. Yeah, no fine, no problem, Philistine. <clears throat> you can only get uh, development ants, David Biss. Uh, Philistine, you can message me on Discord. Uh, the link is in the description for my Discord, and then when you go into the Discord, uh, my username. My username's right here under moderator and I have the gold crown because I'm the server owner. <clears throat> you can only get development ants. Uh, you should be going for your combat ants. So in my case, UD is server 260. Uh, I maxed out my urchin ant I'm carrier and now I am working on uh not flash shield I should probably be doing flash shield but I did acid ant but now I'm working on uh flash shield because I'm t10ing guardians and my goal is to have this maxed out by the time I get t10 guardians <sighs> uh you have any data about coins are you talking about these coins they're nothing you you spend 99 cents you get 99 coins which is 99 cents worth the idea is if you're a light spender and it's hard for you to budget what you want you can get this right like say i only want to spend 50 dollars in the game every two weeks or every two weeks i want to spend 150 dollars in the game so that way i can get to this 50 mutation right you buy the ant coins so that way you know that you can only spend 150 dollars you can remove your credit card or debit card from the account and you're setting yourself up for better success it's a way for moderation it's a very surprising they put this in but that's the point <clears throat> uh i don't know <clears throat> excuse me i mean you're fine to send it to me but i don't know if uh i'm not saying that uh you're doing it wrong or whatever um but this is a uh, portions like a, a really big math whiz that was in the game uh, he's no longer with us, but uh, they have a breakdown of every pack and what they get. It's a uh, hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Sorry, it's not one hundred and fifty. It's one hundred and twenty-seven dollars uh, to get all of the things that they get um, based off of what they do, and then the hundred and fifty came because they bought the special amp pack. My apologies. Um, so you can see quantities, prices, everything else, $130 a week, every two weeks. And that is pinned in my Discord. Thank you, Hollow. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, SRV. Uh, Philistine, hopefully, I don't know if you have it, but hopefully you've been doing the time limited uh, hatch when there is um, not giant destructor, but when there is a Atris glider there, uh, because Atris glider will save you so much money and resources on the skill six. You need 
two copies of Atrus Glider for Atrus Glider to be worth it. And then there's add a leaf copy, uh, add a leaf cutter. It costs uh, $350 to get two copies of Atrus Glider. You can get one copy by buying the $5 rank up pack shop thing that I believe is under special. And you know, the first one is a custom avatar. The second one is, I don't even remember the uh, third one. I don't even remember the fourth one's like golden armor for $50 or something. And the fifth one's an add a leaf cutter or an Atris glider. Uh, and then there is the uh, time limited hatch that gives Atris leaf or uh, leaf cutter, which again, saves you millions in resources per queen level and everything else. Do I make account review? Uh, I only really do full account reviews for Patreons. Um, I, I guess like I could do one on stream. I'd be willing to do one on stream, but I don't have, I, I don't know if you want to share your account information, but full on account reviews is uh, something I usually do only for Patreons. Cause that's like a lot more in depth. I typically only answer questions like we're talking about right now. <clears throat> it's not minus 30%. It's a uh, minus like 26%. The way it works is your uh, Atris glider minus is 20%. So now you have 80% resource cost. And then your add a leaf cutter minus is 10%. Oh, no. Minus is 10% of the 80% that's left. Uh, so it minus is 28%. It doesn't minus. Uh, 30%, which is like small difference, but I just want to bring it up. So that way I'm honest with you. What else you guys got any questions comments concerns queries conundrums i'm happy to continue to talk uh philistine uh, i sighed because i rolled back my shoulders uh and i didn't realize how much tension i had up there because i was like punching trying to find stuff on discord uh so i i apologize that was uh that was my bad only one rally center no there's there's four one for each troop you have your pro and then uh rally center one two and three it's uh one for each troop line <clears throat> oh is there one better rally center no they're all the exact same uh, if you click on details they all give the exact same thing uh technically the pro rally center is better if you are a raider because it gives attack and defense uh based off of plus one percent based off of the level so level 25 plus 25 percent attack and defense thanks chewy have a good day Good time. Uh, Apex later because you love me. <laughs> uh, everyone, again, Chewy, best friend, lover of white velvet. Uh, great guy. Also the person that uh, helped me understand Underground Maze. So that's the mastermind behind that video. Ladybug level 25 offers nothing. Um, it doesn't really feel like the only time difference is like the 
travel times reduced um and with like uh the other things max so like my thorn ant is max uh i see the ladybug like four or five times a day now instead of like three or two whatever it was so because i have all of the development ants that deal with it maxed um see if i can find them yeah uh thorn ant red spider and dinosaur i have them all max so i my ladybug comes back really fast Uh, no, Philistine. One sec. Uh, so I think maybe you misunderstood. Uh, so I'm going to go slow with this. Uh, my, this is my UD account. That's carrier main. I went carrier T10 and then I went, I'm working on guardian T10 or ping Leon because, uh, Carrier T10 is stronger than T9 shooters, so I will use my carriers on shooter day. And then my guardian is weak, so I have to use T9 guardians. So I'm bringing up guardians to T10 because I care more about uh, Pangleon than I do PvP. I care more about PvE. Naya, uh, my shooter main, cares more about PvP than it does PVE. So T10 shooters already. And then instead of doing the weak troop for Pangleon, which would be T10 carriers, she is doing T10 guardians because there are some formations that run guardian shooter shooter. And I want to enhance the ability to do that PVP option. Uh, however, if I cared more about PVE, I would have done T10 carriers because again, T10 shooters does more damage than T9 guardians, but is weak against carriers. So I have to use T9 carriers. No, you should T10 shooters first and then go T10 guardians. Have a good time SRB. Philistine wall does that make more sense I yeah so t10 shooters and then depending on what you want to do yeah of course Philistine uh guard general is definitely the worst uh general acid general is the second worst and not far ahead and new world general is the best but like they were better before lost island ants and now they're like you play them if they're the only thing you have uh but they're not necessarily what i would recommend um so you know uh naya just has it inside of her fourth march because she doesn't really have a better option uh, you know, even wise berserker might be better than like, uh, acid general. Well, would be, and then nimble treant is maxed. So, uh, probably put that in there. I haven't looked at this in a while, but yeah. It depends on what you have Philistine wall. Uh, probably not for the most part based off of your spending habits. However, comma, 
depending on how many guardian special ants you buy in future pay to win events the answer will change No, you do not, Hollow. I do not have the leaf cutter. Uh, I do not have the, what is it? The light contract at all, but I have, um, oh man, sorry. Naya's account is, she built it uh, how she wants it. And it, it's a little bit all over the place for me. I don't have it all me memorized, but as you can see, it's still stationed. Skill six is unlocked. So if I go to level up a building uh, like this one, uh, you can see the resources aren't even. Uh, and if I didn't have uh, those capabilities, the resources would be even numbers because the game operates off of even numbers. Hopefully that answers your question. You don't have Lathy Sniffer or uh <sighs> probably so for PVE I would probably do Giant Tooth JJ or G A J J. BT has a high damage ceiling, but is super RNG and inconsistent. But for like Groundhog, you have 20 hits for Giant Tooth to do some serious damage. Slay March is more consistent, so depends on how you want to go. Yeah, Philistine, I feel you there. Shikari Master did the same thing to me. Uh, the best thing I can recommend is a special ant growth plan uh, in this day 20 random chest powerful supply. So Giant Tooth, uh, Jerome, good question. Giant Tooth has, the theor has a theoretical high damage output but it requires a lot of good um skill activations so it's not um it's not necessarily the recommended special ant because it's such high rng but with the special ants presented giant tooth has a higher peak damage than slim arch uh but slim arch is more consistent so it depends on it how you want to gamble Uh, you go to run, uh, Golden Armor, Golden Sugar, Jack Jumper then. Uh, Golden Sugar is not as useful as it used to be because, uh, PvE doesn't have defense anymore. But, uh, it's still a fine ant, uh, and way more consistent than Giant Tooth. Yeah, so do I, Phantom. I really prefer PvE over PvP. I'm not a huge fan of PvP. Let me correct that statement. I am a huge fan of PvP. In Lost Island. When it's like for a good reason. I don't like to PvP because an alliance backstabs me. Or because someone said something stupid in server chat. Or something like that i don't like drama pvp but like if we're executing to like try and take like a clash wonder or something and we're fighting you know 
an alliance for it i like that uh i don't like disadvantage pvp right so like if it's four alliances versus us i i don't see the benefit right like there, there's got to be tactical reasons for it, not just, oh, I want to fight. I agree, Philistine. <clears throat> the lineup sounds fine. Yeah, Philistine, I really feel like that or hybrid is like the best server. Uh, hybrid is good only because it keeps people engaged and it's not boring. But uh, if there's like a lot of whales or like a strong whale that like bullies people, then it can get really toxic and people quit. Um, so a lot of servers are full nap, especially after uh, LI starts in rotation for you. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate all the questions. Um, thank you so much again. Uh, thank you to the Patreon for all the love and support. This is the Patreon page. Finally brought it back. Uh, if Patreon's not for you, consider subscribing, liking, Liking a video helps way more than I can ever describe to you. Uh, subscribing is insane for uh, my viewership and for the algorithm. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support again for you guys coming out. If you have any questions I didn't answer, I forgot to answer, I missed anything like that, please feel free to message me on Discord, tag me in Discord, uh, and I'm happy to help you. Otherwise, you know how we do it when we do it over here. You can catch me in the YouTube comments. I do try to respond to everything, but I get a limited number of push notifications. You can catch me in Discord. Uh, I'm in DMs way more than I'm in the actual Discord, but I do try to respond to everything. And uh, if you tag me in the in my Discord, I will respond. Or worst case scenario, you can find me in server 260. Until next time, y'all. Stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.